Shopping for the right TV can be confusing. One model can look like another, yet somehow cost thousands more. Stay tuned as I break down all of the tech goodness to help you find the right TV for your budget. I'm John Rettinger, and welcome to Tech Savvy. Chances are you're going to keep your TV longer than any other piece of tech in your house, and it's definitely going to last longer than your next three cell phone contracts. So let's make sure you make the right choices and have the TV that graces your wall be the right one for you. For all that money you're laying down, you want something that's going to look good powered on and off. Sleek design, though, is generally going to come at a bit of a cost premium. Save the cash here, keep it in your wallet, and use it for those all-important geeky features on the inside. Start with the right technology. LED is the new standard, but LCD and plasma are still kicking around. LEDs are brighter, offer darker blacks, and overall better viewing angles. They're also much thinner, which can mean a huge amount depending on where you want to mount them. If you've ever walked into your local big box store and stared in awe at that gorgeous razor thin display, chances are it was LED. Budget permitting, this is something to spend your cash on. Bargain shoppers might be tempted by lower resolution displays. While 720p is technically high definition, 1080p or 1080 lines of vertical resolution is going to offer you the best possible picture for years to come. If you're looking for somewhere to put your hard earned money, this is going to be technology to do it with. Picking refresh rates is pretty straightforward. If you watch mostly sitcoms or news, a 60Hz set is going to be a great way to save some cash. If sports and action movies are more your thing, then a 240GHz set is going to be where you're going to want to spend your money. If 3D is the future, I'm just fine in the 2D present. There's not much content available, and watching anything with active 3D glasses gives me a killer headache. Plus, I'd hate to be seen looking any sillier than I already am. We've seen glasses-free 3D technology in portable game consoles and on some phones. It's not yet ready for its big screen debut. For me, 3D technology is not a must-have. Free yourself from the tyranny of your cable box with a smart TV. Everything else in your house is connected to the internet. Well, mostly everything. So why not your flat screen? Wi-Fi gives you the freedom of web content to watch what you want when you want it. Hulu Plus and Netflix alone make it worth your while. Be intelligent, get a smart TV. So, where does that leave us? If you can, future-proof yourself with a smart 1080p LED TV. And remember that features like design, 3D, and refresh rate are more about preference and budget. Be sure to check us out for future episodes right here on eHow Tech when I'll be giving you news and reviews on the latest and greatest in the world of technology. In the meantime, be sure to check me out at Twitter, at John4Lakers. I'll see you next time.